a couple weeks ago, we watched the most disgusting video I've ever seen in my entire life. And I grew up on the internet before it was regulated. When Two Girls, One Cup was like the the mainstream, like the regular disgusting thing that you could see. So I've seen plenty of shit. I don't think I've ever seen some someone's room so disgusting and decrepit and depraved of any humanity and any semblance of order and uh, I, I'm, I'm honestly I don't even want to react to this video now because of how much I almost threw up. You can take a look of it over here. My editor is going to edit a card to the video. He's going to put a video here of the last video we watched. It's like a title card. You know the United States was aware that 9-11... Today we are watching How I Cook My $2 Steak by Asmon Gold TV. It is 19 minutes and 54 seconds long. Do you know what else happened in 1954? The United States actually occupied some Japanese islands and they made a nuclear testing site basically on them. And, and this was a very cultured and heritage island. People had been existing there for 3,600 years. And they just dropped a shit ton of fucking nukes. Like they spent like 70 gold just on TNT and they nuked the shit out of that bed so hard. And uh, no one cared. No one cared because no one heard about it. Um, the reason why I say this is because America is a terrible country, and America is the reason why this guy probably exists. This guy seems like the most American person I've ever seen in my entire So, um, I'm, oh yeah, by the way, uh, but I don't know if I mentioned, I'm, I'm in a new house now, um, you, if you guys want to see my room. I haven't unboxed anything. Not most of this isn't even my stuff. It's my mom's stuff. She has a shit ton of clothes that she's never gonna wear again. Um, I would say women, but uh, you know I'm not a fucking incel. So uh, yeah, if if honestly, I think most people who who um post women with the T emoji, I think that joke has become far far over. Um. Basically, if you do it, you're a loser. Um, and if you're angry about it, then go cry more. I, I, don't, I don't know. Um, I should really stop wasting my time. This thing is the length of a fucking Attack on Titan video, so I, I think we should just get right into this. Let's see if I'm still alive by nine. All right, okay. Three, two, one. What's up, boys? So, I've wanted to do this for a while, a lot of people have asked for it, and we're finally going to do it. Today, I'm going to show you all how I cook a steak. I know how to cook one meal, a steak. And today, you're going to learn how to do the same thing. Now, I would say that steak is the most important meal of the day. Usually, whenever I get up around 2 to 3 p.m., I start the day off, I eat one to four cookies, maybe a gummy lifesavers for breakfast uh, maybe go down to i don't know mcdonald's to get some food and then towards the end of the night and this is about where we're at now uh it's about looks like a little a little past 1 a.m and so this is prime steak time and, and i'd like to show you guys how i have to do it now i don't like to get the good steaks now the reason for that is not because i don't like the good steaks it's because i don't want to like the good steaks the fact is that i've been using these steaks i've been getting these steaks now for i don't know probably fucking 10 years and my mom always made them for me and uh these are these steaks right here you guys can see i've got them in a bag and uh, this whole bag had four steaks in it, and it was, uh, how much money was it? Uh, this thing's all fucked up. What does it say? Oh my god, what a piece of shit. Okay, I'm gonna have to open this, which is alright, because, you know, we're gonna have the need to do that with the steaks. Really? So, I'll show you guys how much uh, my steaks are, and uh, this is a meal I usually make for myself multiple times a, a week. Uh, Seven dollars. So it's seven dollars for four steaks here. What the fuck? And uh, I get these, as I said, all the time. Uh, they're delicious. I have no complaints. I have no problems. I like to keep things simple. I like to keep things cheap. That's cheap. So That's next cheap. thing, you're gonna need a uh, well, you're gonna need a pan. The thing is that 
I have about 20 pans in my house. Jesus Christ. 19 of them are dirty. Well, actually, 20 of them are dirty. I'm about to have to clean number 19 or number 20 here. And uh, I really just clean and, and use the same pan over and over. I don't think you're going to want to see this, but uh, basically, I had this problem with my sink. And uh, basically, the sink uh, wouldn't, uh, there was a wooden, like, uh, wooden uh, fucking, uh, like, drain. The sink was, like, black of, like, water. And that was a fucking problem. And so I got a liquid plumber and I fixed that. So now it's, it's not a problem, but it was. And, uh, but anyway, so let's go ahead and, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this. So you see right here, there's, uh, there's these little flies. I don't know why they're here. So the first thing you do, um, like, obviously, I, I, I hate washing dishes. Um, oh my god. I, I only I only use I, paper plates. This guy's a fucking comedic genius. I'm not even lying. Sometimes I have to use like, a real fork and knife for this. There is no silverware that is clean in the house. Uh, that was not, that I just, I, I don't really do that. And uh, there's a lot of dirty silverware. And then every, every about like every two months or so, I have this like kind of, um, I'm trying to think like what to put it. It's like a midlife crisis. It's like a mid month crisis. It happens all the time. And uh, basically, what I do is I clean up like three things in the house. And, uh, you know, maybe I don't drink soda for, for like five hours. And I think to myself, like, I'm going to turn my life around. And I feel such a I figured, you know what, I've earned myself a little bit of a break. I crack open another cold one and, uh, you know, throw the garbage back on the floor. And so that's generally how things go. The handle of the pan, uh, it's like falling off. Uh, you can screw it back in. And I tried to screw it back in with a kitchen knife. Uh, but I need a screwdriver, but it's been like a pain in the ass for like the past six months. And, um, it's just been fucking annoying. The screwdriver's up in the garage. I'm just... and anyway, so, uh, Dude, number one, that. we have the pan. Definitely. Also, we have to have, uh, as with, as with any good steak, what do you eat with the steak? Great question. You eat a potato. Now, uh, I only, as I said, I only make this meal. I uh, do this all the time. You have one potato. Now, uh, okay, give me, give me a minute. I gotta. This, this is, is really annoying. Now I've got to clean the fucking fork too. Uh, all the forks are dirty because I'm just here just watching it I was eating steaks with them. I tried doing it with a plastic fork. And the I, I, don't, I, don't even, I don't even know what to say. Uh, melted onto the pan. I, I, and so that was really kind of unfortunate. I, I, I want to be so in this place. to make steaks and and see how bad it is. Uh, this is some pork my mom ordered. It was some overpriced thing uh, at, uh, on eBay. I think this, you know, this like all set was $100. So we're going to get our money's worth out of it. So next thing you do is you want to... Uh, oh, oh, yeah, I forgot about the potato. So, the potato, uh, this is how I cook a potato, is I take the fork and I stab the shit out of the potato. This is what my mom told me to do because she didn't want to have to fucking put it in the oven. And I stab the fuck out of the potato, and I put the bitch in the microwave. I thought it was going to be bad too, but it wasn't. I put this bitch in for eight and a half minutes. So you need butter. You want to put butter on the pan. Uh, I don't even know why you do that. Uh, I just see other people doing it. I really have no idea. It doesn't matter. Yeah, well, anyway, let's go ahead. I'll just put it over here. And this I'll guy. Just put the you guys can fucking believe that I put the butter on the pan, right? Like, I don't have to fucking bring you guys over here to believe that? All right, good. So anyway, uh, you put the butter on the pan, and you turn the pan on. And so... Uh, Usually leave it on for like maybe a couple of, uh, a couple of like 30 seconds, a minute or so. And uh, uh, then we're going to go ahead and get back into uh, the steak situation. So uh, I have three things that I put on my steaks. Let's go ahead and talk about them. Um, guys definitely Turkish. So uh, this is a Worcestershire sauce. Uh, the reason why I do this is because my dad does this. 
um, they were out of the uh, the craft Worcestershire sauce, which is like literally like way cheaper. So I had to buy this shit. It's all the same. Who gives a fuck? And so also, uh, this is steak seasoning. Uh, Salt Lake is a place here in Austin. Uh, I went there one time for uh, uh, some fucking thing. And it was pretty good. So I decided to get the steak seasoning. Steak seasoning is pretty good. And uh, also we get lemon pepper. So those three things, those are uh, that, that's the steak ingredients. So now as you can see, uh, the... Uh, I was going to say, as you can see, you can't see it, because uh, I didn't, I'm too lazy, I don't want to uh, put it over here, but yeah, there's like fucking, uh, like, uh, butter in like the pan and shit, right? And so, um, every time that I cook a steak, so like, you know how, like, women take pictures of, like, their food? Yes. You, you know, like, you go on Instagram, and it's like some girl, she's taking a picture of her food again. Yes. Uh, I'm a man. I don't do that. Yes. But I do take pictures of every single steak that I cook. I cook the exact same steak every single time. And I take a picture of it at the end. That way I remember how good it was. So let's begin. This guy's a fucking uh, giga chat. We've steak right here. This is a, oh, this is a good one. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. So it's not a big one. This is a nice one. Uh, you shouldn't nice really small kill me a fool. Uh, I'm about 6'3 or so. No, and, he's, he's uh, seven four, at least. I don't know if we want to get we want to double up on steaks today or not. This is definitely a smaller size steak. Ah, it's fine. I, if I'm hungry later on, I'll just eat another cookie. Um, and so this is yeah. We'll just go ahead and go with the steak right here. Uh, uh, I stab the steak a little bit, get a little. Uh, that way I get the uh this this this, this shit in there. On the steak, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys. I'm gonna move you a little bit over here. Very nice. And so you gotta shake, shake this bitch up, right? Oh yeah. And the reason you do that oh, is yeah. because on the back of the bottle it says to do it. Oh so, yeah. So uh, next thing, go ahead and open this up, and I'll show you guys what we're doing here. Um, we get this. Oh, I'm fucking up. Uh, so you guys, you guys mess me up. Uh, I gotta do this first. I think the seasoning's better. Uh, now, now it's it's, it's cooking, and now, now I'm, I'm I'm getting stressed out. Fuck. Okay. All right. So so I put I I put this on the steak. There we go. All right. Good. Oh my god. It, it's, okay. All right. All right. So then uh, we get the lemon pepper, and this Izzy taught me how to make a steak, but I don't know if she'll like my own little things I put on. All right. So can I just shake this one? I I don't remember. Okay. So anyway, we'll put this on. I don't think I shook it. So then, there you go. There's the steak. Oh, wow. What a good steak. And so, then after that, obviously, you got to turn the bitch over. And so, what you do there is you turn it. Oh, shit. Uh, so, you turn it. Fuck. Okay. Um, all right. All right. No, no, no. We're good. We're good. We're good. This is really intense. I'm going to keep this one down just for a minute. About to now, sometimes, uh, we're going to go for... I usually put a little bit more of this right here. And we got... Oh, that's the wrong one. We're gonna get a little bit more on there. Yeah, I know. I only get. I only get like medium. I'm sorry, not medium. I get steaks medium to medium well at restaurants, but at home I only cook steaks well done. The reason for that is because I'm paranoid. I don't want to eat something that's oh man. That's a good ass fucking steak, man. And so anyway, you get you get it in the pan, you get all those sauces on it, and you just really have yourself a good time. Um, I'll have to take a picture of this one after the video. And so anyway, let me put this back on. Okay. And I'll talk a little bit more about. Oh, thank fuck. Uh, we're over things I do. How are we doing? Jesus yeah, we're doing good. So anyway, um, so basically, I take the steak. And you shove it up your I just put it back on the pan, up and down. I, I gotta, uh, fucking, uh, shit. Okay, so I'll probably have to, like, it's probably too hot. Uh, just a minute. Oh, wow, what a state. And so, uh, I, uh, one time I tried to make something else that wasn't a steak. Now I only make 
I'll put this back in the refrigerator. The only thing I have in the refrigerator uh, is is cake. Um, I get uh, I get cakes at the grocery store, and I, I eat them. So the steak's pretty much fucking done at this point. Uh, the good thing about these steaks is that I get them and I cook them about the same time that the, the potato is getting microwaved. You know, at least this guy's so happy. So this is a good, quick meal. Now, usually I eat steaks about six times a week, uh, with like one day being Chipotle. Actually, that's not true. Maybe two days being Chipotle. Some days that I, I do have Chipotle and a steak at the same time. Oh, yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, so I'm a, I'm a pretty tall guy. Uh, I'm like 140, 145. Uh, I'm getting a little fat, to be honest. Um, You're very skinny. I don't eat a lot of food, basically. I'm not, a, I'm not a big food eater. So this might not seem like a big meal to you, but to me, this is delicious and it's great. Um... The reason why I like steaks so much is because, because of the fact that I just think that they taste really good. Uh, I'm actually really glad that they're easy to make. Because if they weren't easy to make, I would never eat them. Until I like, get well, sometimes they'll take me out for like a business dinner. And uh, you order like a $200 steak and it's on the company card, so fuck them. But besides that, I mean, we're talking about $7 steak packs on a daily basis. Uh, usually, I go to the grocery store, I get steaks, I get potatoes, I get cookies. Oh, yeah, there's these uh, new uh, Dr. Peppers that have, uh, like, real sugar in them. Uh, they're pretty good. New like, Dice Gate reference! And that's about all I get at the grocery store. Sometimes I get the, um, I think this, let me see if I can show you guys. Do I have any? Um, so we the case. Yeah, I do. Uh, so, this is also one of my special snacks. Oh yeah, your steak. Uh, basically, I have uh, Best Buy oh, April 2022. Okay, so we're going to throw these away. Um, anyway, so yeah, uh, these are uh, like um, yogurt, uh, yogurt things and it has like straw. Oh, <laughs> I've never seen the movie. Anyway, oh, Jesus uh, Christ. Oh, he just put it back in the fridge. Uh, so the steak is pretty much done. Uh, so, so if you want to take a look, I'll, I'll, I'll show you the steak. Uh, this is a, this is this looks like a good ass fucking steak. So you, you take a look at this. Look, at you can literally see. I have like taken shit bigger and faster than that, and I want it. It's uh. Um, so you have that. that's obviously a steak. This is a delicious. This is going to be a delicious steak. I can't wait to eat this one. So I can't I wait for this video to be a, a, uh, an anime, and uh, I saw it because I, I got Crunchyroll because I want to watch uh, Vista the North Star, and uh, you know I'm a big JoJo fan. Tell me if I should and, uh, watch that. Inspired by that. Oh, I put, oh fuck. Um, so anyway, uh, I had that, and so I saw this. Um, I saw this, uh, fucking anime, it was called, um, My Stepdaughter's, uh, My Stepmom's Daughter's My Ex. And I watched the first episode. So we we should watch that. I watched the first episode as a meme. And I'm on episode 7 now. Let's put this up away. Yeah, I don't know. I tried to, I tried to put the stuff that I'm not using away. There's no real reason for that. It's just that it's a pain in the dick to use the, the, the microwave. You have no uh, penis. If, if there's something in the way. You have yeah, no that's penis. basically about it. And so and now I have uh, paper around. plates right in front of me. Oh, and I, these I can are, smell this uh, let's see. Uh, these are really, these are the high quality. Uh, you know, I, people ask me, like, what do you do? Now that you, uh, you, you know, you, your, your stream does well and you make money. Uh, well, I, I, these paper plates, there's only like 30 of them, and it was like $5. So these are the, these are the hard, 
real. This, these are the snake paper plates. These are the paper plates I eat snake off. So uh, you get the you get the paper plate here. You put the snake right there on the plate, and then let's put the potato. I forgot about the potato. So you put the potato right here, also on the plate. And uh, do I have a knife? Oh yeah, yeah. I need to get another knife. I'm running out of battery on my phone because Please tell me as a my phone is If he has one clean knife, I'll be very happy. So the video is going to have to be over kind of soon. Because uh, I also want to eat the steak. And so uh, I'm going to just cut this bitch open real quick. Just so you guys can see what we're all about. And so you cut that potato open. That's a good fucking looking potato. Oh man, look at that. And so you see this right here. This is what, what, what we eat. Uh, pretty much every day. I, I've never gotten sick. I've never had a bad, like, I've never gotten sick after eating a steak. I've never felt bad after eating a steak. I'm a simple man. I live a simple life. I like steak and fucking potato. And I don't care if it's a cheap steak, it's a good fucking steak. And it's good enough for me. So anyway, uh, before I usually leave the kitchen area, uh, this is the pan here. As you can see, it's dirty. So what we do is I just put water on it. And I do that because this makes it to where like uh, it's easy to get the stuff off. And then I just leave it on the counter until the next steak time, which will probably be tomorrow. So yeah, uh, I wanted to share kind of uh, what what I'm doing and, and kind of how I make these steaks and everything. I know a lot of people ask about it. Uh, this was a method. Um, Izzy taught me how to make steaks, and she probably will not be happy with some of the little twists that I put on it, but I think I'm doing great. And I also use A1 for my steaks. I've been using A1 for a long time. This one is empty. I left it down here to remind myself to get more A1. I have four more bottles upstairs, and I think one of them has actually isn't. No, it's two of them that, that are empty, and then there's two that are not. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, the other one is like a different kind of A1. Yeah, so anyway, I'm not using A1 with my steak. So anyway, guys, uh, I wanted to do this video and kind of show you all how it's done. Uh, my uh, steak master. Thank you so much for watching. I might do another one of these. Peace. What do I have to say about this video? I have nothing to say. I I decline to comment on everything in this video. Um, I wonder if that packet of yogurt, the frozen yogurt, is still in there. Probably. I wouldn't be surprised. Um... I'm I'm just I just don't wanna I I <sighs> That is just taken we what we listened to a very energetic Made in Abyss video today and that is just taking all the energy out of me. I wanna go to sleep. I'm not gonna lie, I just wanna sleep this off and take another shower maybe. Yes, I think this man is the most giga chad individual perhaps in the history of humanity. Um only comparable with me, of course. Um I would love to eat one of his steaks, you know, and his potatoes, of course, with the A one, obviously. Um I wish to die in this moment. Not generally, but now, I, I really, really wish 
that I wasn't alive. We're going to bring my boy Ayos Yorgos in to save us from this haram. Uh, I know my, my finger shouldn't be touching the icon. I'm, I'm not mocking religion at all. I'm genuinely using St. George to ward off the evil. Because there, is, there has been some real fucking evil going on. I also have the, the Deadpool chimichanga truck. Tell me if I should react to the my step my 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 my, my wife's stepdaughter is my ex. Tell me if I should react to that. Um, I really don't want to react to another Asmon Gold video, so I'm begging that this video gets no views. Like, actually, if you've if you've watched the entire video to the end and you're here right now, go fuck yourself. I hate you. Because um, my editor's probably going to convince me to do another one of these if um, this performs well. So uh, please don't like the video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. No!